Hey guys, and welcome to Upfront Games. Uh, we are changing things a little bit. Uh, we have a new setup, and obviously things are going to change further going forward, but here we are. So, let's get started as usual with PlayStation, and their trailer for the week is for House Flipper that releases on the 26th. Go ahead and check this out. So that was House Flipper. Um, it looks kind of cool if you're into that sort of thing, just as a kind of relaxed game. Um, play a little bit, fix something up, make some money. Um, looks like it could be at least entertaining. Uh, anyway, the big in Japan sale is live and you can save up to 70% on more than 500 titles. The sales include Kingdom Hearts, Nier Automata, and Code Vein. Those are just a few of the titles available in the sale and that will run until March 6th. Uh, no Man's Sky's Living Ship update is live and it has uh, has released recently. It allows you to incubate and grow your own organic spaceship. It's a free update and these ships have lives of their own. Uh, a new series of missions is part of the update that takes players through the ancient Corvax experiments that led up to the birth of these ships. Now, players that want to take this on just need to visit the Space Anomaly and follow the Call of the Void Egg. Uh, the update also brings new discoverables, uh, space encounters, and new life forms. The team states that they will still have large updates in the works, but they feel that there are things that are done and can be released sooner, so they intend to keep updating this, the game at this point with both large and small updates. So that's it for PlayStation. Let's move on to Xbox. Xbox's trailer for the week is Sayonara Wild Hearts. Check this out. guys that was Sayonara Wild Hearts. Um, I don't generally get into anything other than the games and uh, concentration on hardware and stuff that uh, the different elements or different uh, offerings out there are. However, I have seen a pretty cool article about Xbox helping uh, along with 2K in the community of Chicago. So. I wanted to kind of highlight this is one of our articles this week. So, um, Xbox and 2K Foundations honor the local Boys and Girls Club community at the NBA All-Star 2020 in Chicago. Uh, to celebrate the event, the two unveiled a fully refurbished basketball facility for the Louis, Louis L. Valentine Boys and Girls Club of Chicago uh, with the help of Anthony Davis. The, the rebuild came with a new basketball court, updates to the communal areas with furniture and a revitalized game room. 
Of course, Xbox threw in a custom Xbox One X console for the game room that's emblazoned with the same design from the basketball court, um, uh, from the court floor, and includes the Boys and Girls Club logo. Uh, I'm sure the kids of the club will enjoy their refreshed area and the games that they get to play, even if it isn't 2K. Um, I did see the console itself, it does look pretty cool. Um, the controller, it only had one controller, so that kind of sucks. So I would assume they, they're going to have a lot more um, kids involved in that. However, um, it is a cool little gesture from Xbox and those at 2K, so big ups to that. Alright, uh, finally for Xbox Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 2 is live, and with it, the ability to play as a spy. Join the forces of Ghost or Shadow to sabotage other agents and take back the island. The new season features limited time ops, secret locations, a new battle pass, and much more, so check that out. All right, moving on from Xbox into Nintendo. Nintendo's trailer for the week is Two Point Hospital. It comes out on the 25th. Check this out. Action! Oh, hello. Two Point Hospitals coming to console. Build your breathtaking hospital. Cure unusual illnesses. What happened to that guy? Improve your hospitals with research, new machines, and by hiring great staff. Oh, and try not to kill anyone. No. Okay guys, that was Two Point Hospital. Um, it's a really great game. I have it on computer. I've, I've played it uh, myself. It's, it's pretty good to get into. Um, but anyway, moving on. Hideki Kamiya says the development of Bayonetta 3 is progressing smoothly. In the latest issue of Famitsu, uh, it, he basically was asked, as usual, what the status of Bayonetta 3 was. And he simply stated it was progressing smoothly and also noted that there was a lot of hidden information in the original trailer that released in 2017. Um, he uh, also said that a release date has not been announced yet, uh, but Platinum Games has said that it has several big announcements to share in the early part of this year. So looking forward to that. Super Rare Games announced seven new physical releases for Nintendo Switch. The titles include Nandara, Trials of Fear Edition, Steam World Heist Ultimate Edition, Darkwood, Freedom Finger, Mech Extermination Force, The Sexy Brutal, and Assault Android Cactus Plus. Exact release dates and price have not been announced, but it will be available exclusively from SuperRareGames.com. Not so sure that's a good move. However, um, if you're into those games, by all means, check them out. Um, moving on to Google, of course Stadia doesn't have any new release news. However, uh, they are starting to get a lot of news regularly anyway about the disappointment that uh, Google is basically causing the Stadia community at this point. Alright, so Andre Doronichev, who's in charge of gamer experience at Stadia, says it's not about the daily experience in the early days, it's about the end goal, the 8K lag-free game streaming utopia that Google was promising. But Google has handled some things since launch, like expanded Stadia to all Chromecast Ultras, added achievements, and dropped the multiplayer feature system Connect or feature Stream Connect into Ghost Recon Breakpoint. And this point was expanded to 18 new Android devices. So there are some improvements there. However, I would still state that until Google steps it up. Um, they're still going to have issues with the community. I think one of the biggest things is through Google. There is a lot of different games out there that you can pull from. You're pulling from different different platforms and publishers already. So what's to stop you from pulling in some other published games that are already out there? Is it the publishers that are not allowing the port over? Is it not... I mean, I'm thinking these are more 
the titles uploaded onto a server and so these could be as simple as uh, PC type games however they're encoded to look like a Stadia title I mean it maybe it's more difficult than I think and, and it probably is however I think that if you don't start to bolster the games um, you're gonna continue to have this issue and although there's 120 games promised this year only 10 of them are exclusives um, that's that, that can work if we get something soon I would say in the next couple months if we don't see an exclusive then a lot of people are going to jump ship I'm only giving this until June before it proves to me that it's worth something that I actually want um, I am keeping my pro subscription for now just so I can get the free titles but if in six months or three months I should say I don't get the return on that then I'm probably going to jump ship myself that's just me alright um, finally the latest title add to the Stadia is SteamWorld with a series including four titles um, it's including SteamWorld Dig, SteamWorld Dig 2, SteamWorld Heist, and SteamWorld Quest Hand of Gilgamesh. However, none of the four titles have release dates just yet, so we'll just have to wait and see when those come out to Stadia. Now, I honestly don't like getting on here and writing on Stadia. I would love to include them and have a trailer that has Stadia name all over it because they're releasing something new, whether it's new to the rest of the gaming uh, universe if it's new to Stadia I will still find the Stadia trailer and push it out there however um, that's just not what's happening at this point so it's a little daunting especially if you own a Stadia so that's it guys let me know your comments opinions uh, like share subscribe and by all means have a good one and I think we are going to be at our end of the month uh, very quickly it looks like six days so we have to delve into an article for the end of the month hmm guess I'll do some thinking this week and uh, look out for that to release on the 29th by all means guys thanks thank you so much um, still trying to build the channel but stay with us and we'll see you next week bye